Oh yeah. All right, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while. Howdy, everybody. It's been, I don't know, about a week since I talked to you last. Let's get some sunglasses on. Yeah. So, it's been a week, and it's time for us to get together and catch some legends in... Uh, We'll probably go to Norway because I have to be honest with you. I just don't think that I'm capable of catching Sidewinder. And I want to catch Sidewinder. And, um, I'm doing everything I can to make sure that everybody knows that we can't catch Sidewinder. Let's just leave it at that. Spent the whole week working on the forward-facing version of the product, and uh, I'm super excited. And that's all I'm going to say, and that's all I say every week. So everybody, just get ready for some awesomeness. So today, today we're going to head in with uh, Best of Far to Troll Sparrett, and we're going to get ourselves ready to take a look at our legendary fish. We've got four, five, and three. So spill fiends up this week. And you know, I'm gonna take my gloves off because it's just not that cold. Welcome aboard if you've just joined. Maybe I don't need these. Maybe I do. I'm not sure yet. Thank you for joining. If somebody just came on board, happy to have you. Happy to have you. Check it out. Look at that beautiful sky. So today, there it says it right there, Toll Spratt Natural Reserve. We're going to get ourselves a legendary. So where do we think he's going to be? So look at all the purple on this map. Oh my goodness, guys. For me, I feel like he's going to be somewhere right in here. I have looked at the disclaimers and the spoilers, right? Um, and I'm not entirely sure, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop out here and just look for him first before I just do anything. So let's take a, a look at our rods. And I've got... I've got this real interesting idea. <laughs> interesting, he says. Um... Because I got plenty of fishing rods to catch to catch spill feed, and and that that makes me at, actually ask the very first question of the day, and that's what did I use last time? Um, so you know, all you got to do is pull up a picture that has a humongous fish like that in it, and so I'm using the rushy, and it's not the top rushy, it's the middle rushy, and. It looks like uh, I'm using the visionary director there with a spinner. And if I look at other instances of catching him, say for example this one, notice it's identical. So we're probably going to go with that today. Now, it makes me ask the question, though. Um, let's look at this. Because, this, oh, it is. It's the Big Daddy. It's the 50.5. Is that really true? Did I really buy it and can't remember? Am I that old? Best of far is Grandpa, you know. Um, well, that's okay. That's plenty of plenty of rod. I gotta have that then, right? Like what I'm telling myself is, I keep thinking I'm gonna do it on the on the scale that's got a strength of 35, but it's just not possible. And and it's not because you know then your line strength's down to 15, and it could be sitting up there at 25. 
so both the rod and the line would be less strong right and then of course the reel is 15 here versus the five here you know so what what i was thinking I want to use the stale hunt combination to try and catch Goldstein, who's not that heavy, who would be a great legend for this combination. So I am mean, going to try that when that comes up. But for today, for today, we're going to spin, and we're going to spin with. Uh, we'll go. We'll go back to the shop. We'll get ourselves, you know, hooked up with the appropriate. Uh, larger uh, spinner so that's the first thing we got to do what the hell look at me I'm up here on the roof look how beautiful this is love it love it so let's get ourselves busy so I just had somebody just get on the screen sorry BC it's been about a week I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit slow. I need to do, uh, I'll do a shout out for, for BC Squad who just joined in. Um, and in terms of tips, uh, if you're talking about tips how to play the game, you came to the right place, buddy. Um, I generally do a lot of how did I do it. <laughs> and that's because I spend the bulk of my time testing the new version of the product that you haven't seen yet. And best of far in character form hasn't played super hard now for about a month, but he sure has gotten all the legends. Look at all the purple. So I'm real excited to share some of that in the future, and I'm also excited to just get online and do some fishing. So we're going to do a little bit of the fishing. So welcome to we got we got Monster Cat in this zone. He's probably going to come join me. He's my buddy. One of my best fisherman buddies I know. Be, be awesome to have him if he comes. Yeah, let me go over here and pin this guy up here. Yeah, here, here's your tip, buddy. Welcome. Join... Join in and have some fun. We are chill. It's true. It's true. We're chill. All right. Let's get ourselves rigged up, everybody. It's been a while. We've got everything we need. Yeah, we do. We actually need some storage is what we need. So here we go. We want to wear one of these ones. Let's see. The 7, no. Let's get ourselves up around 2-0. Put this guy on. And let's make sure that's what we want. Right? Here's what we used last. We're going to use this guy right here. The 2-0. All right. So without too much work, let's get the let's get this hooked up to that. I think it's my third rod. And we should be ready to go. We've got 25 braided on there. Um, it occurs to me the braided isn't as necessary. Um, and I say that because I was watching Jaxie. If you all watch um, the Apex, the Apex um, stream by Jaxie, of course, uh, once a week on Wednesdays, the Tackle Box. He he's very interesting in his approach to how he lays out his rods. He's, he lays them out for the fish type of the week. And then they're sorted by diamond, gold, silver, etc. So he can quickly switch to adjust his hooking um, and his probability of catch rate, right? So um, <coughs> I also noticed he's using colored line. So, uh, you know, he's using monofilament a lot. Um, and I would be... Um, I'm just surprised by that, and I'm going to probably start trying to use it, because it is nice to look at. 
but I use this braided because it's so damn tough. Um, and I'm regularly fishing lake trout, so you know, what do you do? Um, having said that, we're gonna get out there, and if you take a look, my buddy Monster Cat is already out here. So we're gonna tra fast travel over to that second big lake. And I'm gonna see if I can get out the big orange. And I tell you what, best of all, he loves this, this legend more than any other. Let's just see why. Best of far loves to catch salmon. He does. And this game provides for him a chance to go fish salmon just like this monster we're about to go get. Um, so I'm super excited to go do this actually. So when this, uh, when this legend comes up I get a little bit amped up and I get out my, my super happy coffee cup. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. And then I fill it with coffee, and then we go have some good times. All right, good chill show, good chill show. And I'm going to share with everybody my new view. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Bestifar loves the back view for some reason. Oh, BC, I hope you can stay on, buddy. Especially when Monster Cat gets around. We, we get silly. We do. We have a good time. We do. And I can see his boat out here in the middle of the lake. So I'm going to just, first of all, stop in and say hello because I, I just love him. He's a good guy. And he really taught me where to find diamond. So you should all pay attention. There's the hero right there. Check it out, our legend in the making. Look everybody, it's Monster Cat joining the show. gonna put on some new music hey BC I want to thank you for following buddy yeah I'm sure it made the screen you stud sure happy to have you all right so uh, we're gonna get get the music changed out here we'll go to something a little bit more up upbeat if you know what I'm saying and it's going to be some dub let's do dub okay sorry I'm a little slow on the touch today because I've just it's been a while go oh, best of far looking like you're sloppy but we are ready to catch fish and we are fully rigged up. So really all we gotta do is find him. So buddy. Just getting my hands warm, ready to go, ready to catch some fish, 15 minutes in. And we just 
got to look for him at this point, because if we see him, we'll, we'll cast. But I want to possibly move a little bit in. I, I didn't expect to see it this far out. I kind of expected him right in here or so. Wondering what Monster's up to. And I can take another peek at the discords too real quick. And we can have a see where others have caught him. Just a moment. Won't take long. Go out to the main trophy gallery. Get ourselves ready for a picture. Oh, they're so beautiful. That's a good looking fish right there. All right, everybody. Here we go. You ready? Here's your spoiler. <laughs> you ready? Here's your spoiler. Oh, I'm so fun. I'm so fun. So, yeah, somewhere out there, somewhere, you know, in this little region right in here, I would say, is where we need to be looking for them. So I'm going to slide all over a little bit. And I would love to have those waterfalls behind me in my picture. Let's do that. Hopefully I can see him out here somewhere. I'm not sure what monster's up to. Checking it out. Closer now. Looking for the man himself. Now, of course. Oh my gosh, guys, look down. Did I just do that magically? Did I just do that magically? Hi. Did you want to have a conversation, Spell Fiend? Because. You're like magic to me. Look, you even look like this to me. You look like a salmon. I popped up right on top of you, buddy. You're mine. So, for those that have just joined the show, how exciting is that? I'm just taking him in right there. He's right in front of me. Look how big he is. See, and that's what's super good about this legend, guys. He's a little bit easy to find, <laughs> right? Once you kind of know where to go, all you got to do is pop around and look for him, and he'll generally be at the surface swimming around. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that I can have a good shot of him. Um, I'm just going to go for it, right? It doesn't really matter. I've caught him so many times now. So let's uh, let's put this out over the top of him. That was too far. You can see he's only halfway out. He's right halfway out, swimming right in front of me. But we can just watch him for a minute if you'd like. How's that? Right in front of me. All right, let's do it. Here we go. And that didn't take. Right in front of me. Okay, it's right in front of him. There he goes. He turns around. He goes for it. Here we go. 
Did you guys notice I don't have a strike indicator and I nailed that? Bam! All right, it's game on, folks. All right, we're going to play with that tension a little bit and see how that goes. Now, what's super fun about Spilfine is he likes to jump. So don't close your eyes because you might miss it. Yeah, good times, good times. All right, hey, BC Squad, I hope you're still there, brother. So we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let him get himself tired. Obviously, at this point, we're sitting here at fifty percent tension. We've got a big daddy rushy rod on the on the uh, visionary director. I use the biggest spinner, 2-0. and he doesn't bite for it until that spinner's moving at three times. And that's where it's at. Notice how he's staying at the surface. He's two and a half meters down. So, admittedly, the Russia Rushy Visionary Director combo is holding him bay pretty well. Just missed that. I missed it. Missed it. Yeah, I get to focusing in on the rod, or uh, the, the, the real information, and I miss a jump. <laughs> All righty -o. Well, it was pretty easy to get here and find him, that's for sure. pretty good there's my buddy out there that's monster cat he's probably just taking a break he was going for some diamonds earlier today give myself a little bit more color yeah look at that how sexy is that? Yeah, it looks so cool. I like that blurry effect. That's neato. All right. Fish on, fish on. So hopefully we'll get this guy in here. Looks like we've got a third person on the way. You can see a boat coming in on the horizon there. Look how beautiful it is out here today. It's so interesting. I popped, I stopped the boat right on top of Spilfy and I get it. <laughs> I went out to the hood or to the V berth there to get ready with my rod and he first thing that happened when I looked down is he was right there. I'll tell you what, that, that's the exact opposite of what the experience is when you're fishing for Sidewinder. <laughs> that's some funny shit right there. Yeah. So we've been going five or so minutes, maybe ten, I don't know, small amount of time. Just under ten minutes, haven't seen him once to the boat yet, but we're pulling on Spielfeen live, live legendary action. Brought to you by a happy Canadian. Well, okay, I married a Canadian. How about that? And we're dubbing up. Yeah. Real 
Bible is finally catching up to him. See right there? You can see he's finally getting pulled in. Making a little headway, getting closer to the boat. Look at him. He's going to run when he gets to the boat. Maybe we'll get lucky. He'll jump right here. Because he's real close. He's real close. Real close. Six feet. Eighteen. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you never disappoint, buddy. Wow, took my breath away. Well, I told you he'd run again. He probably is, but that was one of the better jumps I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, there he is again. There he is again. Somebody just parked right next to me. I got a boat right on me now. Right to my, right, right next to me. I'm not sure who I got. I can't see him. That's fine. All right. Come on now. Looks like Monster Cat or No Sharon Walker's coming in now. Shannon Skywalker. That's a great name. jump out there People have joined in. We got people all around. Monsters here. Shannon Skywalker's here. That's a great name, by the way. Um, love it because I'm a, I'm definitely a Star Wars man. And we're making headway on the legend now. He is on the hook. We pulled him in to the boat once. He's jumped at least three times. That first jump went really high. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm still giddy. I'm still giddy. And this is the experience of catching a big salmon for sure. For sure. Yeah, I'll have to make a highlight of that one. That was so, so sweet. But we're getting close because he's coming in now. 38, 37. There he goes, another little jump. Oh, it's such a good time. All right, here he is. He's so big. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Here we are. Kawamo! <laughs> oh, every time, every time, buddy, and I got my monster with me. Look at that. That's right, buddy. I'm happy to see you, buddy. There you go. That's right. There you go, buddy. Line it up. 
<laughs> oh, he's totally, uh, he's totally, uh, Spark of me is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Here, watch this shot. There. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Monster, I love you, buddy. You're the man. All right, back in the water with you, Spilfine. All right, all right. Thanks, Monster. I love you, buddy. Taught me a lot. Always grateful, always grateful, always grateful. Look at that. And with that, oh, hey, wait, we got to put a mark on the wall. We do, we got to put a mark right here. There you go, buddy. I've seen him out here too, but today we caught him right out here, everybody. Check it out, more purple. Good times, good times. All right, so let's go back to the main lodge. And we can sit back and relax for a second. and be thankful. Because today all we're going to get accomplished is, is a great legend. Oh, look at this beautiful place. Oh, I love it here. I want to live here. I could just sit here looking at the music, or, or excuse me, looking at uh, the view every day. That's for sure. I also like to come over here. Because we need to take a brief intermission for sure. Because I just caught a big daddy. So we'll come up to this little spot right here. If I can get up it. There you go. Look how beautiful this little place is. Right? Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Good times, good times, good times. All right. Hey, everybody, best of far could not do a lot of what he gets accomplished in life without your support. Please take a moment to put a like, a subscribe, or a follow on my content, and then let's just have an intermission, shall we? Let's have a brief intermission. But before we go on intermission, it's kind of important to just say, what the hell did we just do? We just did that. We just did that right there, except for that it was this one with my buddy Monster Cat on it. How's that? <laughs> this one. Yeah! Yeah, Monster, I love you, buddy. <laughs> so awesome, man. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, everybody. Give me a minute, I wanna go make some coffee. All right, we'll be right with you.
here we go. All right, folks. Yeah. Yeah. That was super fun. Man, for the first hour of the show, first 39 minutes, we have a legend on board. I can't wait to go back and see the footage of that first jump. I swear it went all the way over the top of the rod, which is super cool, right? Um, it's cool because it makes it feel real, you know? Um, gosh, I just want to go fish for salmon now. Um, <laughs> I certainly do. It's been a while since I've had this view. So I at least before I do anything else, I'm going to jump out here and go have a look. Because you all know me, I like to come out here and more specifically, I like to get out here and do salmon. And it's been a while, so I just want to see it. Look at that. Full of salmon out there. You know you know what? I hold on, hold on. I don't have what I need. <laughs> oh, I have a couple. I have a two, I have a six, I have a seven. These are too small. The two O's too big too. So I can't, I can't, okay, I can't, and I can't because I need to explain something to everybody, I need, need to, we need to go to the main menu, <laughs> if I can, I need to go into GRR, so I need to take a minute to explain why is no one finding Sidewinder. I've got my own theories. Got a lot of coffee too. All right, on this side I've got 531. I've got Goldstein three times. We've had Big Larry three times. So that's eight. And then Sidewinder only once. And the very first time I caught him, I was with Monster Cat, the guy that was uh, with us on today's show, and um, a fellow streamer, and somebody who has a lot of knowledge how to play. Um, he also plays fast and hard, so follow him if you can. Um, but yeah, the reason why I only have one Sidewinder, oh my gosh, let's take a look at that. You guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, got a follower today. Yeah! So, the only time I have caught Sidewinder is right here. Right here. And. You know, he's, this is Bear Lake. Sorry, I'm just full of thought. Um, he can be anywhere in this lake. And that means that you're fishing with a jig straight down anywhere in this lake. We're using crankbait, right? Um, and that's because, oh, finally he spawns. Took him a while. Um, that's this guy right here, Sidewinder. And Sidewinder, I'm a little bit, um, I am admittedly intimidated by this fish, having only ever caught it once. And I'll, I'll even see what I used, just, just to satisfy everybody. Because I don't, I can't, I don't have time in the time of the night to go fish and find, find him. It would take too long. Here is me catching Sidewinder. So I used the same exact rig up, except I had crankbait here. And I think that's a crankbait four, it doesn't matter which, but it is a crankbait. And, um, you know, this is a rare fish. 
Um, this is a fish that's humongous and doesn't come up for air. So you have no idea where he is. Um, and I just got lucky, right? Um, you know, I happened to be out with this fella right here when I did it. So, um, you know, I don't know what to say, everybody. Um, I want everybody to continue searching for him, though, because when one of us finds him, we all get a chance to go after him at that point. In the meanwhile, he can be anywhere else. So now, other legends have other clues where they're at. For example, Spilthy makes a chiming sound when you get close to him. I'm hoping that that sort of thing has happened before or could be turned back on for Sidewinder, and I'm investigating that with, um, with the Discord family, with the community. So we'll certainly, hopefully, have that addressed. So without further ado, I think we're going to go ahead and call it an early show for today. Sophia, because Bestfar doesn't have a lot that he can do just now, and we're going to get back online as soon as we know where Sidewinder is, and we'll do another show. So, you know, it's kind of one of those perfect moments for us to get in front of this cute little sign, I guess, right here, right? I like to do this. I really do. Because you guys are worth it to me. I love you guys. Right? I like to say goodbye. So, with, without taking any more time, you guys. Um, best of far is so appreciative of your time. It's been a while since I've been able to give you any time. Because I've been testing so much. But it's all really good, and I can't wait for you guys to see what's coming. Please stay tuned for more great, exciting, fun fishing from Best of Far. And hopefully we'll have more news soon about coming releases for the product for Call of the Wild, the Angler. Those will come from Apex. I can't wait to share, everybody. Have a great weekend, and make sure to put a follow or a like or a subscribe on my content. I sure appreciate it. And know that your mother loves you. Give her a hug. Peace and love.